Hi, I'm David and welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're covering the summary of the Lithium series where we show you a little bit of information around costings, the various parts used and I'll put link in the description to where you can get hold of the different bits and pieces. So we left the last video, if you haven't seen that one, there's a link in the description about connecting it all up and pulling it together with a list of the kit we've used. And in this one, we're going to have a look at how much it all cost and just weighing up the cost and benefit. So let's have a quick look at what that um, costs. So the biggest cost was in the lithium battery that came in i actually got it a little bit cheaper because there was a discount on back order i bought all of this myself uh, none of this is sponsored this is my own uh, views and spent with my own money the victron smart shunt about 110 the solar charger 115 the, the 30 amp charger about 170 the inverter came in about 390 again you get a little bit of discount on that if you shop around as well the power maintainer for the uh, battery about 60 pounds the fuse holders about 15 pounds all in with the fuses the battery isolators are about 12.50 each so 25 pound the circuit breakers 24 about 12 pound each and again the 15 amp in line was about 12 pound as well the bus bar was 34 pound the positive one giving it less power was uh, 15 pounds the small fuse box and the fuses were about a tenner and the cables and terminals and things cost about 50 pound so the total cost of the um, setup that excludes the kind of wood and uh, a few ancillary bits so there's a little bit you would add on on onto that one i thought it was more, much more than 50 quid um is 2980 pounds and that excludes the solar panel and b2b charger if you're looking to do this yourself and let's just have a quick look now at kind of variations of the setup because as I said earlier not everybody wants an inverter and not everyone wants 460 amp hours of power if you took 200 amp hour battery and stuck with exactly the same for everything else that would come in at about just over 2000 pounds I think it was 2050 if you did it at the full price but as I say if you shop around you get a little bit of discount on some of those bits and pieces and then the 460 amp hour without the inverter comes in at about two and a half thousand pounds or the 200 amp hour without the inverters coming in at about 1500 pounds I've gone with Roma batteries they seem really good company again this is completely a personal purchase it's not an endorsement of any particular brand model it's just what i chose um to go with but i'm happy with my uh, setup so pleased with it but it doesn't mean it's necessarily the right setup for you or that you can't get things uh, cheaper better or whatever that gives you a little bit of a view on the costing there if we just kind of dig in a little bit um, further the 460 amp hours is about 65 percent of the cost of the battery and that works out about six pound 52 in amp hour basically uh, in capacity the 200 amp hour with the inverter is about 53 percent of the cost is the battery it works out about 10 pound an amp hour the 460 amp without the inverter uh, works out uh, the cheapest kind of cost per amp hour where 78 percent of the cost of the battery and that comes in at five pound 43 an amp hour and the 200 amp hour lithium without the inverter is 70 percent is the battery cost and that's coming in at about seven pound 50 per amp hour if we compare it now to the standard battery that comes in your, your kind of lead acid agm you know those those types of battery and the van came with a 85 amp hour battery and you get about half of that capacity is regularly usable because uh, when you read the spec up it says you get about 400 cycles going to 50 percent depth of discharge and you've got to be a bit careful not to actually run them right down um or certainly not run them right down too often because it do does destroy the battery like i mentioned in one of the other videos it was one of the reasons that drove me to lithium because it's just far technically superior in terms of how it works it's not going to allow you to destroy the battery 
uh, unless you do something really daft and start changing settings you're not supposed to and things like that. Very well protected with it uh, to make sure things um, switch off when they, they should switch off. So less likelihood of damaging the battery. The size difference, the, the lithiums are slightly bigger but you're getting a lot more capacity and more importantly a lot more usable capacity if you need it because you don't have to worry so much about running down. So um, I'll give you an example. If you had an AGM battery and you consistently ran it down it's not going to last long at all. Um, you, you, know, you might be talking a few weeks if you're lucky. Uh, whereas with the either the 200 or the 460 and I'm talking about the Roma spec here but um, they're probably quite similar across the uh, different brands. You can draw down that full capacity, so 100% discharged 2,000 times. But if you only draw it down to 80%, you'll get 3,500 cycles before the battery starts to become needing to be replaced. But if you only draw it to 50%, as per the recommendation for the AGM battery, you will get 6,500 cycles. That's a heck of a long time, isn't it? And the lithium batteries come with a 10-year warranty from Roma. The ones I looked at, the Varta one actually, that comes with a three-year guarantee. But again, it's conditional uh, on both of them, depending on how it's been used. The weight, for reference, is the um, Varta one is 18 kilograms, the 200 amp hour is 21, and the 460 is 38 kilograms. Just working it out next, so I was interested to say, well, so what does it cost? in its lifetime per used amp hour. If we look at the AGM, we get 400 cycles to 50% depth of discharge. So that gives us 42 and a half amp hours, which is 17,000 amp hour life. So that works out, given there it's about 220 pounds, 1.29 pence per amp hour is what it costs. Now if we look at the 200 amp hour lithium battery, we get 6,500 cycles at 50%, so that's 100 amp hour, and that works out at 0.162 pence per amp hour. And the 460 amp hour, um, again 6,500, 50%, so 230 amp hours, that gives us 1,495,000 amp hours at 0.13 pence per amp hour so quite a difference in cost there and if let's load that now with the cost because the factory spec AGM works with the stuff that comes with the van so you don't have to spend any time upgrading anything and you question whether you're going to get much advantage out of upgrading anything in reality I think so let's assume we spend nothing on that that's going to cost us 1.29 pence an amp hour if we went for the 200 amp hour lithium battery with our 50% again just to keep it, keep it a level playing field that's going to work out at 0.32 pence an amp hour because we've loaded a thousand pound in the lifetime of that value for the setup that includes the inverter in that price that's the it's pretty much a thousand pound for the gear plus the battery. On the 460 amp hour, again loading in that thousand pound for the setup, we then get 1,495,000 amp hour life. That works out at 0.2p per amp hour. So taking all that into account, the most expensive battery to own, and th this is the assumption that you use them and it's over the lifetime of the battery and one would assume if you sell your van you would probably put it back to what it was and take the lithium with you otherwise you're going to lose the advantage you're going to get out of this over lifetime costs so that's just to bear in mind and the most expensive over the lifetime is yeah the AGM battery at 1.29 pence an amp hour four times less expensive than that is the 200 amp hour but six times less expensive over the lifetime is the 460 amp hour so let's just finish off now with the pros and cons. We're comparing here the 85 amp hour and the 460 amp hour, which is I took out an 85 and put in the 460 lithium battery. The pros of the 85 amp hour is, firstly, it comes with the van, so you're ready to go. The replacement costs typically about a third of the cost of a lithium equivalent. Now, when we say an equivalent there, we're looking at a 100 amp hour or less uh, battery, and it's more than an equivalent, to be fair. 
uh, and if, if you look at the cost it, it, it's roughly um, a third of the cost. It doesn't require a specialist kit to maintain it, it works with the stuff in the van, you don't require any kind of digital chargers and things like that to work it. The cons, it's easily damaged with deep discharge, there's no protection on the battery uh, really from it so if you deeply discharge it you can permanently damage it. The lifetime's only 6% of that of lithium if used to 50% depth of discharge. And now let's have a look at the lithium battery. So it's a 460 amp hour life pour 4. The pros, lifespan more than and guaranteed for 10 years. A week off grid. I worked out roughly using around 45 amp hours. I watch the telly and stuff, the fridge on, the heating on, um, and I've not added in there any excess use like um, making an half hour microwave meal or something like that. That's just kind of stuff without using big power by the inverter. So there is a, a kind of, if, if you go mad with that, obviously it'll bring that down considerably. But a good week off grid without having to worry about the battery as well. And not having the worry of if you do run the battery down having to then replace the battery because you've damaged it five times the usable capacity of the 85 amp hour AGM six times less expensive as we said over the lifetime of the battery it's got a Bluetooth battery management system so we can keep an eye on what's going on the state of the charge and all of that good stuff and it's got three times the capacity but it's only twice the weight so it's not the, the weight equivalents are lower than that of the AGM battery. So obviously it's a heavier battery, but it's not as heavy in proportion to what you would expect it to be. And it's got battery management system protection. So it's protecting against too hot, too cold, short circuits, that sort of thing. The cons, well, it's quite expensive, isn't it, to uh, set up as we've gone through. So big initial outlay, and it does require the specialist gear to go with it. So you've not just got the battery purchase. Depending on your van, you've potentially then got to start replacing out other bits. So it does get more complicated as well to do that. So that's the kind of thing to balance off uh, with so, it. I hope you found that useful. And... Um, thank you for watching and uh, good luck if you embark on a project yourself. If not, I hope you just found it useful just to kind of look through the pros and cons. And remember the right choice is the choice you make. Um, lithium isn't for everyone. If you go away on hookup um, all the time or it's just an odd night you're away, you don't need it. You don't need it. So it's only worth it if you're going to do things you know, if you start wanting inverters, going off hookup for a number of days, doing the kind of wild camping off-grid things, definitely worth considering. But if you're just going to potter around, plug in on hookup and things, not needed. Um, so the right decision is the decision you make. And I hope you found that useful and informative. Thank you for watching. You take care. And don't forget, we've got one more. The So What video where we look at a less technical view and the So What about lithium. So, catch you next time. Bye bye.